Hey guys, so you're going to be seeing this on the 21st of this month because like I said, my mom is going to be off this uh, next couple of months basically. Uh, basically in 60 days by the time you watch this is when she's supposed to go back to work. You know, so, so yeah, I'm kind of trying to give you as much content as I can going into uh, these, uh, these coming months and everything as best I can and all that. So hold on to your horses. We're going, you're going to be getting a lot of content, hopefully, uh, without any issues whatsoever. Now, with that said, you know, as you can see, and I got a cough drop in my mouth, though. I do apologize for that. Now, like I, now as the title probably says, uh, I'm here to give you an idea, a little bit of suggestion idea, of what movies should be, I guess you could say, uh, finally released on the 4K. Now, some of you might say, well, they are on 4K. Some of them are internationally on 4K. And that might be true. But, even if that's not true, these are still movies that I feel need to have a 4K release. Mainly because of their significance. And the fact that we are in a time now to where basically these kind of movies need to be preserved from a, in a physical media standpoint with a clear, more, I guess you could say, satisfying uh, viewing pleasure. So, with that said, we're going to start off with the first one here. And this is something that should be on Blu-ray and 4K, but probably more likely would be Blu-ray, but it'd be nice if whoever gets the rights to it would put it on Blu-ray. And I'm surprised. I'm surprised it didn't get a Blu-ray release by the likes of Mill Creek or Shell Factory or whoever uh, in these past several years. But it did get a DVD release, not here in the States, though, which, again, I'm kind of surprised by. But it did get a DVD release across the pond, which kind of tells me that if anyone, uh, you know, across in this world will do a Blu-ray, if not a 4K uh, release of this, it would be across the pond. But this one, I think, deserves at least a Blu-ray release and maybe a 4K mention, you know, for potential release in that format down the line. And that is the 1988-87 Invisible Kid movie, which I've talked about before. This movie, of course, uh, stars Jay Underwood, Karen Black, and China Phillips. Yes, China Phillips of Wilson Phillips fame as the love interest, the girl next door to Jay Underwood's character. And yes, if you're wondering, wait a minute, is this the movie where China, goes, China Phillips goes invisible and does the little invisible strip tease for Jay Underwood's character. Yeah, this is, yes, this is the one. This is the movie. And to me, to me, I think this should get at least a Blu-ray release by Mill Creek or Shout Factory down the line, and maybe even a consideration for 4K release as well. Because when you play this on a 4K Blu-ray player on a 4K television, it looks really good. So, so to me, I think they should do that at least. They should at least consider this for a Blu-ray release and maybe consider it, talk about it for a 4K release um, as well. Next up is one I think they should do, and it's a cult classic. Everybody likes it. It's basically the epiphany of, you know, the 1960s Batman. And I'm surprised that Warner Brothers hasn't done this yet. They're doing it with Mask of the Phantasm, so why not do it with the one... Uh, Theatrical-wise, that started it all in a movie sense, not a serial sense like the early 40s, early to mid 40 ones did, but basically in a you know theatrical full-length feature-wise. And I'm talking about. Hold on. Hold on. I'm talking about the 1960s Batman the movie starring Adam West and Burt Ward. I think, honestly, this should be one that they release. Now, I know it's distributed by 20th Century Fox, but hopefully Warner Brothers did get the, the rights to it and everything since they, since they own DC and DC owns Batman. Hopefully they did get the rights to it and everything, and if so, they should consider putting this on 4K, remastering it, putting it on 4K, along with the features that are already on here, and a bunch more. So I think if there's any 4K release of a Batman movie that needs 
you know, needs a long overdue release in 4K, it's Batman the movie. That was 1960s. Then we have this one, and I'm I'm surprised. You know, Disney in their Touchstone uh, division, if Touchstone is still around, their Touchstone division, I'm surprised that they have not contacted, you know, they have not contacted anybody. I think I think we might be having a resolution of that soon since they did make a deal, I think with, who was it, Mill Creek or Shout Factory, uh, to distribute some of the releases that they may not have the time to release. But I'm surprised that even before that, they did not release this in 4K. Because you know why? The 30th anniversary of this movie was three years ago. And to me, this is long overdue for a 4K release. This should have been one of the first movies that Disney, through the Touchstone Division, the Beno Vista Division, whatever you want to call it, should have released in 4K. And I'm talking about Pretty Woman. This, to me, is a, one of the better romantic films out there. Of course, I am a fan of the, you know, bubble bath scene with Julia Roberts in there when they make the deal and everything and her reaction. You know, who isn't? But to me, this is a movie that whether you like it or you don't, or you just like it because of what I mentioned, you know, it's, it's a cult classic. And it is long overdue for 4K release. So to me, Disney, if you made a deal with Shout Factory, if you made a deal with Mill Creek, Get on them to get this release on 4K. Remaster it. Do whatever you have to do. Get it on 4K because it's long overdue. All right, next up. This, to me, should get a 4K release because, one, it's one of the best animated classics of all time. Excuse me. It is one of the best, you know, uh, movies that Don Bluth ever did in, in a way to kind of stick it to Disney. And, of course, I'm talking about An American Tale. American Tale is long overdue for a uh, 4K release, in my opinion, is long overdue for 4K release. And I think Universal, Comcast, you guys got this movie, you should release it. Put it on 4K, you should release it, and I guarantee you, people will buy it. And at the same time, you should also release this one as well, the sequel, Fievel Goes West. You should also put this on the 4K as well. People, again, that, like I said with the first one, they will buy it because uh, to, to them, just like with Pretty Woman, these are two animated classics, mostly this one, that are long overdue for 4K releases you know, uh, to be uh, bought up and owned. So, yeah, American Tale 2, American Tale, Five Vocals West, along with American Tale Definitely are in need of 4K releases, in my opinion. Then next up, we have one that I think, honestly, um, I don't know who um, has the distributing rights to it. I think it's, uh, is it Discotech? Discotech has it? Well, Discotech, if I'm you, this is definitely one I should look into for a 4K release. And that's Street Fighter II, the animated movie. I mean, it's great that you have it on a Blu-ray and a collector's edition and everything, which I'm happy to have. It's one of my favorites and everything. But honestly, I think you need to put this on 4K. Because if you think, if you think honestly, people would not buy this on 4K, you are not, <laughs> you are sadly mistaken. Sadly, sadly mistaken and everything. And if you keep it this way, where it's completely uncut and in high definition for the first time, but in, but in this case you say completely uncut and in 4K high definition or 4K ultra high definition for the first time, people will definitely buy it and add it to the collection because, let's be honest, you know, people are attracted to the 4K, uh, the mention of uh, a movie being in 4K, of what I'm trying to say. They are attracted to that mentioning. So if I'm you... I definitely, discotheque, I definitely strongly look into this and say 4K release for the future. And last but not least, they recently got this from Frank Hill. And when, <coughs> when I think about it, I know people might say, well, Blu-ray is the only place for it. I disagree. I disagree. And I think, honestly, this should also get a 4K release. So Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers Discovery, if I'm you... I really consider putting this 
maybe in time for the 60th anniversary next year, put this on 4K. Yes, you put it out for the 59th anniversary or 60th, depending on how people look at it. But you put it out for the 59th anniversary, I think for the 60th, you need to go 4K uh, with this film. Because I did look at it, you know, just a little while ago, about hours, a couple of hours ago, I put it into my 4K Blu-ray player on my 4K television, and it looks, and I even chose the picture uh, mode to be high dynamic range, HDR, and it looks tremendous. It looks tremendous. So you can, so you can only imagine Warner Brothers Discovery, and anybody else watching this, you can only imagine, you know, you can only imagine what it would be like if you put this and remaster it one more time for 4K release. Because I guarantee you, you'll sell a lot of these. You know, that's that, that's the truth. So to me, Warner Brothers, hey there, it's Yogi Bear for the 60th anniversary next year, 4K release. And that's really about it, guys. That's basically the movies and everything that I can think of right now that I think are in need of a Blu-ray release for the first time, maybe even 4K consideration, but mostly 4K release um, as well. But let me know what your thoughts are. Comment below. Live chat during the premiere, where, of course, you can do that, because I'll mention that in the description. Uh, but let me know what your thoughts are. Which ones do you think, out of those that I mentioned, do you believe would actually get considered, if not given a 4K release? And which ones do you think might just be stuck on Blu-ray or might just be given a Blu-ray release um, down the line? Let me know, guys. And until next time, go and support me at my Teespring store, where you'll click on the shop icon when the uh, information displays, as well as click down below in the description box at the links there. I would greatly appreciate your support. And until next time, guys, I will talk to you all later. And that, and until then, have a good day.